This is what the CEO calls a lunch break. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Common Rider 01DX Attach Shotgun! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So in front here, we have the Attach Shotgun in both of its modes. We have 01, we have Vulcan on this side of the box, we have the Shotgun, on the other side of the box, we have 01. On top here, we have... Vulcan on the bottom, things, stuff, stuff, things, caution. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots that does this, that, the other things and stuff, stuff and things, and Sir Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Attache Shotgun, or Attache Shotgun, however you want to say it. And this is the next of the briefcase weapons from Zero One. And this was just recently introduced on the show. And let's get in close here so we can take a look. That's the details. You can see done in black and blue. I love the shade of blue, by the way. I really like that. It really pops. It's a popping blue. A popping, popping blue. But anyway, you get nice coloration there. It's a nice molded detail. You get a bit of gold in there as well, which really pops as well. I like that shade of gold they use. And there is the back. Your battery compartment is right there. It takes two AAA batteries, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself. You have your on-off switch right here. Speaker is right there. Your trigger is right there. And there you go. And for a quick comparison, here it is with the Atash Kaliba. Just so you can see how they look side by side. So without further ado, let's get down to the noises. So again, your on-off switch is right back here. Turn it on and you get... A cash shotgun! It tells you what it is in case you already forgot. And when you pull the trigger... A cash case opens to release the incredibly powerful shotgun. Incredibly powerful indeed. And from here, we will go right into shotgun mode. And to do that, just like the attached caliber, you have a release button right here. Just push it, bring the section up. Shotgun rise. You get the confirmation noise. Rotate that around. And there you have it in shotgun mode. And that's interesting. <laughs> it's interesting, definitely. And you do also get some... Uh, some pump action there. This does not affect the noises in any way whatsoever. It's just there for, just there for accuracy. Just there for a little bit of shotgunning action there. But there it is in its full shotgun mode. You can see the barrel there, just done in gold. Oh no, you know, for what it is, not too bad. And again, for comparison, here it is with the Atash Kaliba. As you can see how it looks in its open form there. So, there you have that. Now as far as noises in shotgun mode, when you pull the trigger, you get a firing noise, a pew pew bang bang. You can rapid fire that. One thing I like about the Atash shotgun is that the speaker is definitely louder than it is on the Atash caliber, so I like that. It's nice. You can actually hear it. I like it. I like it. And you can do the uh, the charge gimmick here by basically you can you only have to half close it. Just hold the button down. Charge rise. And then bring it back up. Full charge. Standby noise. And pull the trigger. And you get your come on shot. And we can bring this down. Charge rise. And when you pull the trigger, charge. It can charge. Charge. Shot, 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 charge. You can do that. Doing the extra charge, it doesn't affect the noise in any way. It's just it's just a thing you can do. But 
there you have that. So now let's see what the progress keys do in conjunction with the Atash shotgun here. So we'll bring in the Shooting Wolf because Vulcan did use this first. And just like with the Atash Caliber, you want to keep the key closed and you're going to plug it in like this. You're going to plug it in upside down. And when we plug it in, we get... You get that? And when we pull the trigger... Get that very abrupt halt there at the noise. <laughs> it's very jarring. But anyway, um, just like with the Atash Caliber, uh, the progress keys are locked in there, so don't just yank it out. Otherwise, you're going to break something. Your release button is right here. Just push that down. And you can extract the progress key. So now we will go back into shotgun mode. Shotgun rise. rise indeed. Rise indeed. And now we will plug in the progress key. Progress key confirmed. Ready to utilize. Werewolf ability. It's a very cool standby music. Uh, 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 uh. So you have that, and we can do the charging attack. Explosions of things happen because it's awesome. So, there you go. So there you have the Atash shotgun. Um, it's cool. It's interesting. I can work with this. I can work with this. I'm digging these weapons. I think they're they're very interesting. There is definitely fun to be had here. I like the noises. Like the way it works. Just all around. Yeah, interesting. Fun. Cool. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, there you go. Now, of course, there are many sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out the Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Play, and follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Common Rider 01 DX Atash Shotgun. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face.